Hello, my name is Dr. Roderick L. Roll, and today I will be talking to you about fungal infections of the skin. This image shows the skin. You have the epidermis, the, the outermost portion, and the dermis. This slide shows our normal microbiota that's on the skin. Fungus that grows only on the integumentary system is called dermatophytes. Three genera are responsible for most cutaneous mycosis and all three will infect the skin and nails. Trichophyton has different species. All of them will affect the skin and the nails. But trichophyton will also affect the hair. Whereas these other two, all of their species will, will infect the skin and the nail. Tinea is a Latin term meaning worm. It was used in naming skin diseases because people thought worms caused the skin infections. But we now know it's not a worm, it's a fungus. Dermatophytes colonize only dead tissue of the skin. So it's going to colonize the outermost portion of the skin because the stratum basal layer is living. The outermost superficial layers, the corneum, the lucidum, those layers are dead. So that's where you will find dermatophytes. These dermatophytes will also feed on keratin which is produced by the keratinocytes. Dermatophytes are contagious, meaning you can pass it from person to person. A classical example is not wearing shower shoes and you live in a dorm and have a community shower. Cutaneous infections are caused by TEM, trichophyton, epidermophyton, and microsporum. Those three are going to cause skin infections. Superficial mycosis infections is limited to the outermost layer of the skin and the hair. One example of superficial mycosis is caused by Malaysia furfur. This is a fungus that causes the superficial mycosis. It will feed on sebum of the outer epidermal layer. In rare cases, it can cause pityriasis and dandruff. Pityriasis is the depigmented patching that you see and people with this disease. Pityriasis versa color has clinical symptoms which include the deep pigmented patches. So this fungus inhibits the production of melanin therefore creating these deep, deep pigmented patches. So Malaysia furfur is going to do this. Topical treatment with antifungal amidazoles are required. This azole type contains two nitrogen within their azole ring. I have attached the image 
of the azole type drug to show you the two nitrogen that are contained within this structural molecule. This is indicative of the category of drugs that are used to treat this uh, fungal infection. You can also use some over-the-counter drugs such as Head and Shoulders and Celsin Blue. Head and Shoulders contains zinc which will help inhibit and destroy the fungus. And Celsin Blue has selenium. Relapses are common and skin can take months to regain pigmentation. In extreme cases, you can take an oral drug called ketoconazole. Malaysia zia can also cause these three diseases. Follicle infection, uh, itchy dry patches, and dandruff. The last of which can be detected by using a long wave UV lamp. This table 16.8 summarizes superficial infections. Another superficial infection is caused by Piedra. Piedra is going to affect the hair by forming nodules and the nodules are either be white or black. White Piedra is caused by this fungus, Trichosporum. Notice in the image you can see a soft white to light brown nodule growing on the hair. The black Piedra is caused by a different fungus. If you get Piedra, you must shave the region, but if that is not an option, you can use this drug. We will now look at a protozoan that can infect the skin also. This protozoa is given to you from the bite of a sandfly. The sandfly will introduce into your bloodstream a protozoa that is not a fungus that is caused that is called lesmania. So lesmania is a protozoan that causes lesmaniasis. This is the life cycle of lesmania, a protozoa that is given to you from the bite of a female sandfly. It can cause three types of lesmaniasis. The first one is cutaneous lesmaniasis. It is also called the Baghdad boil. It is a painless skin ulcer and it is a localized infection of the capillaries of the skin and it is caused by this protozoa called Lesmania tropica. The second one is caused by Lesmania silencius. This protozoa was, will cause mucocutaneous lesmaniasis which affects the mucous membrane of the mouth, nose, or soft palate. It is endemic to Central and South America. This table 16.7 summarizes lesmaniasis. In this slide you also see that you can get a skin infection by bacteria also. The classical example of a, a infection of the skin is caused by um, bacillus anthracis. 
This summarizes most of the organisms we talked about.